Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this Teams Administrator Associate MS700 examination series. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Teams management tools. Managing the various aspects of Microsoft Teams can be performed using a variety of tools. Basic tasks such as creating and editing team settings and adding or removing members and adding or removing and configuring app all can be performed by users within the Teams client app. Administrator's tasks can be performed using Teams Admin Center and Teams Partial Module or Graph API. So what is Teams Admin Center? The Microsoft Teams Admin Center is available from your Microsoft 365 Admin Center or navigating to admin.teams.microsoft.com. The Microsoft Teams Admin Center provides a dashboard that shows Teams usage and user activity in your organization. The Teams Admin Center enables administrators to manage and create Teams to create Teams policies, manage phone devices, telephony numbers, location and emergency addresses, and meeting settings and policies such as live event settings and policies, messaging policies, Teams app settings, etc. The portal also provides link to legacy portal for call quality dashboard and troubleshooting. To access the Team Admin Center, users must be assigned to one of the following administrative role. The user has to be either Global Administrator, Teams Admin, Teams Communication Admin, or Skype for Business Admin. You can use Teams PowerShell modules to manage Teams as well. To use Windows PowerShell to run Teams related commands, you must first install the Teams PowerShell module by running the following command, which is install module dash name. Microsoft Teams. After installing the module, it is loaded into all new PowerShell sessions and the commandlets are available for configuring policies and settings, such as creating and managing Teams. Before you can work with the Teams PowerShell module, you must establish a connection to the tenant by running the following commandlets, which is connect-Microsoft Teams. Please note that the Teams PowerShell module is still under development and transitioning from Sky for Business PowerShell module to the Teams one. So what is Teams Graph API? Microsoft Teams also provides management capabilities through Microsoft Graph, where Teams is represented by a group resource. The Graph API can be used for various tasks regarding managing Teams settings members, and resources. The primary use of Graph API is its automation. Because Graph API calls can be embedded into tabs pages and easily call from other resources. Now that we have explored various types of Teams management tools, in the next lesson, we are going to talk about Teams clients. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.